Since the city of South Bend announced plans for Ignition Park more than two years ago, the site has looked more like this. A big open field off Sample Street rather than a high-tech park. To be fair, Transpo Bus Company built its maintenance facility here. And right around the corner, Enyard Electric plans to move its Sample Street site to the park. Neither is new business to the area, but that all changed today. This is a fairly quick, uh, quick turnaround. Data Realty, a high-tech data center, announced plans to build a $20 million facility at Ignition Park. It'll back up computer data for other companies. What we do is we create the infrastructure to make sure that companies' computer systems are up and available all the time. And that itself doesn't employ very many people, 14 to 30 when the company opens. But they say future jobs might come from the businesses they serve. Generally, there's other ancillary jobs that are created around that, whether that be in the construction, whether that be in the networking and operations or programming or call centers or those types of things generally locate near data centers. The city says it's a first step. But we're going to uh, continue to be recruiting. We'll, we'll look for other businesses. But there's no timeline. There's a value to being patient to be able to attract uh, companies that fit the mold uh, to, um, to, again, have a vision for the park that allows us to really go after high-tech jobs that will help change our economy as we look to the future. So if and when Ignition Park becomes a reality, it'll be fitting. Because what happened here at this park puts South Bend on the map. In the old Studebaker corridor, Ryan Klund for ABC 57 News.